I think the idea of a UI is going to be vastly outdated in the next five to 10 years. And here's why. The interaction level of humans with websites or with web apps these days is largely manual, right? What I mean by that is you hop on to, let's say your laptop or your mobile, you click something specific. So that's one haptic that you're using. You then go on to that uh, app or this may be your website, do some specific actions in that, then come back with the result that is shown to you through the website's UI. All of the logic usually for most apps is happening on some sort of server in the back end, which is doing all of the processing and then bringing this result back to you. The medium of conversation or communication between you and the back end is the front end. I think this layer of communication is largely going to be outdated in the next five to 10 years. If any of you have used model context protocol or MCP, you know the future is going to look something like that, although not exactly like that. For those of you who haven't, let me give you a quick two second on what uh, the model context protocol is. It's basically a method for which agents, AI agents, can talk to different set of apps who have MCP enabled so that you don't have to go into those specific apps, fetch data and give it to the LLM. The LLM can do it itself. One example of that is uh, the integration between GitHub and let's say uh, OpenAI or Claude, which allows a Claude or OpenAI, Claude or ChatGPT to hop onto uh, the GitHub MCP, access your repositories, of course, you'll have to give access to that. And once you've done that, it'll get back uh, to you with the result without you having to explicitly mention which repository, which code base you have to you uh, wanted to reference, right? So that's a very simple example of what MCP might look like. Presently, all backend apps have APIs. So the way frontend and backend apps communicate, for those of you who code, you know that there's some sort of API or GraphQL, which enables the frontend to fetch data from the backend and the backend to come back with the result to the frontend so that it can show that. What if, only the API layer existed and this API layer was exposed to LLMs. This is what MCP is. For all in intents and purposes, MCP is simply a set of exposed API routes, which means that the AI can hit those API itself rather than have to log on to some sort of front end or some sort of website to access that. But still, I mean, the question still is, if it is humans who want to access the front end, why why would front ends be uh, removed in or let's say deprecated in the future now there's some nuance to this i don't think all front ends will be removed in fact i think the only front ends that will remain will be those which are entertainment based us so let's say if you're watching this on youtube youtube will most likely remain to be a front end facing app similarly with netflix similarly with hulu similarly with Disney Plus, et cetera, you get the point. But anything that is not based on you consuming content is going to be just a set of API routes. Now, how do we make AI agents work according to that, right? I think one, this is gonna ease up the development process a lot. I know of a lot of people who spend 30 to 40 days just building out the perfect front end for their app only for the logic behind that, only for the backend to be uh, semi-furnished, being uh, logically loopholed of sorts, so that the front end itself looks good, but the functionality doesn't exist. What if we use those 30, 40 days, months and weeks to instead improve the backend, improve the logic, and uh, use backend API routes to get the data that we want and give it straight to the LLM without having to go through uh, long process, right? Cool. So what will these apps look like? I think it's simple. Every app is going to have exposed API routes. These will not look like MCP as it presently is partially because MCP depends on you having to uh, generate MCP specific guidelines out of these API routes. Whereas a much simpler alternative would just be making the AI adaptive to the API routes as they exist. So it references the backend 
of that code base references the API routes through, say, uh, a fast API uh, doc base or uh, GraphQL, etc. And the LLM is the one has the responsibility to adapt itself for the tool calling rather than having to expose a set of routes by each developer, which will add barriers to entry for a lot of these devs, right? So all you have to do is create apps like you presently are, but just expose the API route. And of course, so there's a security layer to this as well. How do you ensure that LLMs are the only ones who are able to access the right set of data? And how do you ensure the authentication still works, right? So for that, we usually use right now uh, bearer tokens or JWT tokens, et cetera, uh, which the browser uh, stores sometimes, which uh, I think is going to have to change if you're gonna remove front end. So there's gonna be different types of authentication. One of them, which I can think of off the top of my mind is what if we authenticate each app using the API key model that these LLMs already use. So you sign in through, let's say OpenAI or Claude, like you presently sign in with Google, and instead of you having to authenticate each app differently, it is the authentication that is being done by open and then transferred across all of these different endpoints that then get to use that authentication to ensure that you are the only one or your agent, in fact, is the only one who's get to who's getting to access your data and not any other agent of any other person. Agents again will have to be linked to an API key, but I think they already are. Um, if you're, if you're running a cloud-based uh, LLM such as Open Air Cloud, I'm not sure if that's the case for uh, local uh, LLMs like uh, Llama or DeepSeek, if you're running them locally. Cool, I think that's a short little take. I think that that would be obvious, but I don't think it's uh, clear enough to people around the tech community how fast this change might be coming because I envision a future where in the next five years, non-entertainment UIs are going to become very, very deprecated and they're going to add large overheads on top of development cycles, which no one really needs other than, of course, YouTube, Netflix is of the world. And everything's being done through one single LLM, which might have a front end, to be honest. Maybe ChatGPT has a front end, but in that future, I think we also have hardware supporting the uh, communication, which is just like, uh, me talking to uh, chat GPT and saying hi GPT pull up my latest stats from github or my latest rank from lead code or etc cetera, etc cetera, right so all of that is working from let's say if Neuralink happens let's say from mine to the hardware or in the more believable future happens voice to hardware or uh, worst case scenario uh, text to hardware and then we can we can remove the need for front ends. I think that that should be possible in the next five to 10 years. Uh, let me know if that sounds good. I think there's a lot of nuance to this that I might have missed, but I think in general, this is something that I generally believe in. Cool, see ya.